Hey, we're going to read today in John chapter 8. We're talking about Jesus as the light of the world. So John 8 verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So here he's proclaiming, I am the light of the world. And then with that, he says, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. He is proclaiming this, that if we follow him, if we follow Jesus, we will never walk in darkness. Remember, Jesus is God and God is not a man that he should lie. He cannot lie. So the truth, the promise is that Jesus is the light of the world and that anyone who chooses to follow after him will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This is a promise. This is an astounding promise from God, from Jesus, our Savior, that if we just follow him, we will only walk in light because he is light. There's, there's so many times in my own life where I'm asking the Lord for direction and, okay, what, Lord, what's the way through? And so many times he has said, I'm the way through. Like, just, just abide in me. There's one way through this, and it's to abide in me. And so often I think, okay, I could do this, or I could do this. I have all these different options, but it's like there's one way through, and it's in Jesus. And that's for you and I for anything that we face in life. There's one way through whatever you're walking through right now. There's one way through whatever I'm walking through. It's in Jesus. So my way through is going to look different than your way through because he's going to lead you on a different path than he leads me on. But the truth is that if we are in Christ, he is the light of the world and we will never walk in darkness. Though there may be darkness all around, though it may be um, rough terrain and a rocky path and dark all around, we will never walk in darkness if we are following in Christ. So when Jesus was proclaiming this, when he said, I am the light of the world, he was actually teaching in a part of the temple that burned the candles, which represented the reminder of the pillar of the fire that they would, they would follow after in the wilderness that the Israelites followed after. And so he's sitting there proclaiming, okay, you, you, your ancestors used to follow this, this fire during the night but now it's me, it's me. I am the light of the world. So he's proclaiming to them. They know exactly what those candles represented. They know that those candles were a reminder of the pillar of fire that they would follow, that their ancestors followed to guide them through the wilderness all those years. And that fire never burned out. It was always there for them to follow at night. The pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day where they could follow where they could know exactly where to go. So the, the pillar of fire represented God's guidance and his protection, his leadership in their life, that they were, they were in fact going the right direction. And that's just how Jesus is. He is the light of the world. He is now our protection. He is now our guidance. He is now our leader. So we follow in him and we know the way to go because we're in him. He lights up the path because he is light and in him there is no darkness. So let's pray against any darkness even in our lives right now. We should not be, even though there's darkness all around, we should be in the light of Jesus, just like the Israelites were in the desert. Though it was dark when he would lead them at night, where they were was lit up because they were following that pillar of fire, just like we get to fo follow the fire of Jesus, the light of Jesus. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you. We know you are the light of the world. In you, there is no darkness. And if we follow you, we will never walk in darkness. And so we just come first and foremost and ask forgiveness. If we have chosen any dark path, if we are walking in any dark path, if we are having any dark things in our life that we have allowed, God, we just come against those right now in Jesus' name. We cut them off by your very own authority, Jesus. And we say, 
get out of our lives, darkness, right now, in Jesus' name, we choose as an act of our will to turn to the light of your presence, Jesus, that in you there is no darkness, and we only will walk in your light if we are in you. So anything dark in our life, we cut off in Jesus' name. Any attacks of the enemy, we cut those off in Jesus' name. And we just say from this day forward, Jesus, we choose to follow you, the light of the world, that we can walk in the light as you are the light. In Jesus' name, amen.